All right. You already understand the importance and value of natural search engine traffic to build an audience, generate leads, and increase profits for your business. But are you still struggling to get the traffic from search engines that you want? Have you ever spent hours trying to figure out topics to write about your blog or business website? Is your content really targeting the right keywords so people can actually find you? Well, now is the time to make your keyword research and content marketing efforts a true business asset. Finally, you can get the search engine traffic you need in a fraction of the time with Longtail Pro. Whether you are building an authority blog, niche websites, or an online business presence, Longtail Pro will boost your search engine marketing efforts. Save time by discovering relevant keywords and search data faster than ever before. Increase profits by focusing your content marketing efforts on keywords that actually bring in traffic. Gain confidence as Longtail Pro tells you exactly how easy or difficult a keyword is to rank for. Overall, are you ready to save time and increase the effectiveness of your online marketing efforts? Download your free trial of Longtail Pro today. Hey there, my name is Spencer Haas, founder of Longtail Pro. Today in this demo video, I just want to show you why Longtail Pro is the fastest and most effective way to do keyword research. If you want to get natural search engine traffic to your site, you really need to be confident that you are targeting the right keywords. So let me show you how to do that. First of all, you just start by clicking the find keywords and you can input multiple seed keywords at once. And that really is one of the great features of Longtail Pro, making it much faster because you can input lots of seed keywords at once instead of one at a time. So if I just pop in a few here, uh, you just input them and then hit enter and that adds it to your list and once I've added the keywords that I want to generate additional keywords for you can do a few other things such as pre filtering those if you want to only see keywords that have 25 cents or more suggested bid and only get searched for at least a thousand times per month you can do that you can of course check uh, advertiser competition and number of words is a great one to find those really long tail keywords let's say I only wanted to see words that had three or more I can input that you of course can look at the global search volume which I'll do you can see if the exact match domains are available just sliding these on or off um, and then uh, finally you can also look at uh, Google title competition being title competition uh, for now I'll just hit generate keywords and what that does is it goes out to Google and starts uh, pulling in all the data that they have uh, to get search volume and suggested bid and everything else that you can see here uh, and so up here in this column uh, we can see how many keywords are actually matching our filters and this is running live just so you can see the amount of data that's coming in uh, we've already got a little over um, 1400 matches to the actual keywords it'll pull up to 800 additional keywords per seed keyword that you input and as you can see because I already filtered out a lot of these I've already narrowed it down to uh, here 83 keywords instead of me having to look at you know 2200 keywords I can see the ones that match my filters right away. So based on just those five seed keywords, Longtail Pro pulled in over 3,800 results and 174 of those met my uh, filters that had a thousand or more searches per month, had medium or high competition number of words. Uh, if I wanted to just quickly only see, well, let's, I only wanna see keywords that have 2,000 or more. Uh, you can see how that changes or had four words to find those even longer phrases that are meeting my fil uh, meeting my criteria. Now I can also come over here and start calculating the keyword competitiveness, uh, which really shows me how difficult this keyword might be to rank in Google. So I can just come in here, uh, look at the few that hey these look like good keywords that maybe I want to target. So let's calculate uh, the keyword competitiveness and you can start to see uh, very quickly the number is going to be between 1 and 100 with anything around uh, 30 or below 30 to be really low competition anything under uh, 35 typically is something that I might consider targeting now you can also do a couple of other things 
Uh, if you want to only see keywords that include the word best, you can type that in and narrow it down even better. That Having the uh, modifier of best is often a great way to find good affiliate products to promote, things that might work well uh, as an Amazon affiliate, for example. So just doing that quick analysis, I can see the lowest competition keyword is best memory foam mattress topper. Uh, if I click on that keyword, that'll actually pull up uh, the results in Google itself, the top 10 results, and you can see what's ranking, what sort of page authority, how many links are pointing to the page, uh, domain authority, and all of these stats, including site age, to see how competitive the results actually are in Google. And so these are the things that you want to look at. You want to have something with low page authority, low juice page links, uh, low domain authority, and for all of those, something under 30 uh, or better is, is usually quite good. These are all things that you can look at. It highlights whether or not the keyword is in the title for you, making your competitor research much, much easier. Now, there's a lot more that you can do with the tool as well. Let's say that you had a list of your own keywords that you wanted to put in here. You could just paste that list here up to 10,000 keywords. And then when you hit generate keywords, uh, it'll pull uh, the results for just those keywords. It won't fetch additional data, but it will pull in all of the search volume, the CPC, advertiser competition, everything else for just that keyword list that you pulled in there. And those will show up under my own keywords. Now after taking a look at keywords that perhaps you like and you want to save those for later, you just click this star button to favorite that and those will all show up under your favorites tab down here at the bottom. If you click on those, that'll show the full list of favorites that you have and you can also uh, write notes and say this is a great keyword or whatever you want to do to save details for later and then you can sort by whether or not the keywords are a favorite or whether they have notes uh, to, to find those keywords later to use. Now you can also check the ranks of where your current websites are. So you can just punch in your domain name here and then any type of keyword that you want and hit check ranks. So as you can see, my website ranks number five for the keyword Amazon affiliate in Google. Uh, but overall, Longtail Pro has a lot of additional features as well. You can export your data to a CSV file. You can fetch additional uh, data for any columns that perhaps you hadn't checked, such as Google title competition and domain availability by just checking the box and then rerunning that data here. Uh, as well. Overall, Longtail Pro is a great tool to do your keyword research, to keep your keywords organized, and to find those truly low competition keywords, those Longtail keywords, that you can use on your website to rank a little bit quicker. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you get the most out of Longtail Pro.